All right, so today I'm gonna give a little quick tip about the DT750 motors. Uh, these motors are pretty cheap from Hobby King, uh, and they're also pretty efficient for their price, but oftentimes, uh, a lot of times that uh, I'll have problems with them is when they stiffen up, especially after a crash, um, they'll become locked. And some sometimes it's because of broken bearings inside the motor. Uh, for example, I don't know if you can see this, but um, that's a that's an old broken, actually, I just broke it yesterday, a, a ball bearing inside of a motor, or a bearing. Um, it comes out right out of here in the motor, and then this will just slip right in, but it's the top bearing, and it pretty much got destroyed. So a lot of times that can be the problem, but the main problem that I'm gonna be focusing on today is where the um, the motor simply doesn't have enough, um, enough room to move around. Uh, Hobby King ships these with um, a, a pretty tight setup, like no no movement inside of the shaft. But um, the, there's a there's a washer in there that can be removed that will loosen up uh, the motor once it gets stiff. And uh, you'll notice that this motor moves fine. But um, what I've been doing with a lot of my motors is just taking it out any, anyways in case um, they stiffen up in the during the flight because what what it can actually cause is a lock in the motor mid flight and then you know for your quarter hex to flip or lose power. So um, it's really simple. It's not it's not as hard as moving a ball bearing. Um, you can use a small screwdriver or uh, some needle nose pliers to take this just front C clip out. So I went ahead and removed the C clip off camera with the needle nose pliers. What we're gonna do now is we're just gonna take that that first washer. Usually it's a big washer. Sometimes they're in there it goes big washer, small washer. So you can see there's one under there, but uh, we're just gonna take the big one off. Okay, there we go, we got the bigger washer off. And now we're gonna, yeah, as you see, there's a lot more room for the uh, motor to move around on the, the shaft. You can see there's a little play now. So now it won't tense up in my experience. And then all you gotta do is put the C-clip back on the motor. And there we go. So now we have a motor that can come a little out just like that you see there's a little play now and it really doesn't take away from the motor um, as I found it just allows it not to lock up because it has more room to move around and it's not as crowded on the shaft there thanks for watching